What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, the Uncrowned Otaku. Hooray! Latest chapter, Hajime no Ippo, came out. And I literally just did a review yesterday, and a new chapter came out today. It's crazy. So, good news is, Wally is okay. But, I'm confused on what his name is at this point, because in all the thousand chapters previous, they called him Wally. W-A-L-L-Y. In this chapter, they call him Warly. W-A-R-L-E-E. -E. You even see it printed on the back of their shirts. Team War Lee. I'm like, Morikawa Sensei, what the hell is going on? You can't just change up his name. He took a mean L and you change his name. Ricardo beat this man so bad he had to change his first name. That's crazy to me. But the good news is he ain't dead. He's still alive because at first we were all concerned because literally during this chapter, they were bringing out the stretcher. He wasn't moving. Ricardo had to kneel down and talking to two apex predators at the peak of boxing. It took the man at the peak of boxing to snap Wally back to consciousness because he said for, for that brief moment in time, they were both on the same playing field. This is the first time where Ricardo's admitted he had fun in the match. He tested himself. He reached limits he didn't know he had in this match. However quick it was, it still happened. Ricardo was challenged. And Wally passed that torch to Sendo. Which is crazy. Again, Sendo's going to become world champ. Ah, guys, I'm not going to lie to you. I don't know about that one. I don't know if I want to see Sendo as the world champ. Yeesh. Because Sendo, all he is is a power puncher. No real finesse with him. He just going to slug you on. But Sendo's going to work on the counter. You see at the end, Ricardo's like gripping his hand. Sendo's gripping his hand. It's like the tension is there. If they was in the street, they might actually brawl. But because they're professionals, you know, Ricardo turned around and said, said Vamos, Tiger. Well, you know, see you later, I guess. I think it translates roughly to see you later or be gone, something like that. Either way, it's Sendo's turn next. And now we travel all the way back to Japan where Kumi is again pissing me off. Ippo's, uh, what are we calling them? Disciples? Students? I guess we'll call them students for now. Apprentices? We'll call them students for now. Ippo's students are like, yeah, did you see the match? Ippo handled that chair masterfully. I bet he'll come back wanting to do boxing. And you see Kumi just right behind him, just hating ass. She just with the hating face, stank ass face. I can't stand Kumi. Def to, hashtag death to Kumi. I swear they got to get her up out of this manga. She ain't needed anymore. She served her purpose. Let's get her out of here. Her brother can stay, but her, nah, bro. She got to go. She got to go. And you can see Itagaki being all scared, like, guys, don't, don't, don't talk about Ipo boxing. Don't talk about Ipo boxing. Like, Kumi gonna do something. Kumi ain't gonna do nothing to you, my boy. But it's, again, it's because he got a crush. And that's crazy, too. They never really fleshed that storyline out. Itagaki is crushing on Ipo's girl. Itagaki and Ipo are supposed to be boys. How you gonna like your boy's girl? And then Itagaki and his sister were plotting to break them up. They didn't even they didn't even really flesh that out all the way. I forget about that Morikawa. No, sir. They was really plotting on Ipo's relationship. You thought I forgot? Never. At first, I didn't like it. But now I'm like, yo, bring bring that ish back. And let's make this plan a success. On me, let's make this a success. I hate Kumi. Anybody but Ipo. She can be with anybody but Ipo. <sighs> I'm glad. I Ipo, I don't know. Ipo kind of like this, though. He be... He didn't acquiesce to her whim. He was like, yo, let me get one more match. If I lose this match, then I'll retire. But still, the fact that you had to bargain with her about your career, kind of whack to me also. Kind of whack. I could see if she was your wife before your girlfriend to tell you to quit boxing. Kind of whack to me, dog. Either put a ring on it or stop that nonsense, my boy. I'm not trying to hear that noise. God, that really just pissed me off. Kumi pisses me off. But that's pretty much all that happened. Glad to see Wally's still alive. Don't know where the story's going to go next. Sendo's got to go home and practice because Sendo ingrained the memory of Wally doing the smashes and how Ricardo countered. So I'm, I'm sure we'll get a Sendo training montage. That'll probably be like 20 chapters. I'm sure we're going to get a, a Kumi talking to Ipo about how the trip was if he wants to box again. That'll be fucking 50 chapters or some shit like that. And then at the end, Wampo got, got bitch slapped by a cat. And you know what that could symbolize? It is the cat could be Sendo. Because Sendo is the tiger of Japan. And what's a tiger? A feline. What's a cat? A feline. A.K.A. Sendo ain't got that dog in him. They're trying to say Sendo ain't got that dog in him. It's going to take Sendo smacking some sense into Ippo. And Ippo going to have to get back into that ring and handle business. But again, y'all got to give that idea up. Because Ippo's retired. Ippo ain't coming back. And that's okay. We all should be okay with that by now. 
This video is all over the place. What did y'all think? Latest chapter of Epo dropped. Comments down below. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, do all the social media jazz. Hey, my TikTok is popping. Make sure y'all go over to Uncrowned Otaku over on TikTok. I do. Hey, it's, it's crazy, but it's a, it's a good time. It's a fun time. Twitch as well, Uncrowned Otaku over there. I'm all over the place. It's every, everything Uncrowned Otaku. Y'all know what it is. Uncrowned Kingdom. I've been your boy, Young Crown Otaku. Boom, that's the fight. I keep the kingdom burning safely. Peace, bros. Peace, 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 peace. Quick exit.